In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows operating system on your MacBook device. So you can actually start using all Windows operating system softwares, which are officially just compatible to Windows operating system. And the best part about this method is the convenience. You can easily switch back to Mac operating system by simply sliding it to the left. You've got your Mac OS operating system, slide it to the right. You've got your Windows operating system here running smoothly. Do not worry because this is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial where I'll be covering all the steps on how to have it installed and do not worry because this works on any MacBook model. Whether you've got the new M chip models or if you've got the older one like mine which is an Intel MacBook device, do not worry it works on any MacBook device. My name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. So without any further ado let's jump straight into the video. So here I am on my MacBook and the very first thing in here that we need to do is hop straight into Google Chrome or any other browser that you've got, right? In my case, I've got in here Google Chrome as my browser and we need to visit this website right here, which is the registration website of broadcom.com. Do not worry, the link to this exact page right here is in the description box below. So just reach out to the description box below so that you can actually reach out to this exact same page right here that we've got okay so it's a registration page in here so we're gonna create a free account okay I'm gonna create a brand new account with you guys okay let me quickly type in the captcha okay great next up we're gonna tap here on next okay and then we need to hop into our email address in order to actually verify the one-time password sent to your inbox and here we go this is my email account let me quickly open up the email so here we go, we're now giving a look at the email and the verification code is 587368, right? Let me quickly copy this code right here. Let's paste it over here. Boom, verify and continue and we're good to go. Now we need to fill in these details right here. So once we're done, we're gonna tap once here on accept and tap on create account, right? So here we go, our account is now created. We're gonna tap here on I'll do it later. So next up to download the VMware software created by Broadcom, we're going to tap in the second link in the description box below. Okay, so I've just made it easier because we've got a lot of workarounds in here to find the software because they offer many softwares in here. So just tap in the link in the description box below once again. So there's a second link down in the description box below. So tap on the second link and this should take you to this web page right here okay it might ask you to log in once again do not worry simply log in with the account that you've just created right now okay so we're gonna download the latest version of vmware fusion 13 and then this is the latest one 13.6.2 tap once on it next up we need to tap here on agree with the terms and conditions and then we've got in here the option to download we're gonna tap here and then prior to downloading this additional verification is required tap on yes it's gonna ask you to actually fill in your address in here pretty easy after filling your address in here simply tap on submit and then in a few seconds you'll be able to tap here on download once again and your download should initiate right now here we go we've got the download taking place it's 7 it's 540 megabytes and depending on your internet speed this should take you a few seconds all the way to a couple of minutes okay so here we go the download is now complete and once you've done downloading the vmware fusion software in here we're hopping into the third link we're going to tap on the third link which is in the description box below so once you tap on the third link you're going to be here on this web page right here which looks exactly like mine okay we're going to scroll down all the way here to this section which says download the windows 11 disk image okay iso so we want to download the iso image okay for x64 devices now please note there's a very important step in here this version right here is only for intel macbooks okay if you've got an intel macbook you should download it here if you've got an intel macbook like mine then you should download this one for x64 devices now if you've got a much recent macbook with an m chip for example the m1 m2 or m3 you need to tap here on windows 11 iso's arm 64 okay so you'll need to tap here and then download 
download the image from this second page right here. In my case, since I've got an Intel MacBook, I'll go with the normal image. Okay, so just tap here on select download, select Windows 11 multi edition, tap on download now. This will take a couple seconds. It's going to ask you to select the language. Let's go with English United States in my case. Tap on confirm and then the download should initiate in a few seconds, right? You've got in here the last tap to tap on 64 bit download, tap on it. Download has started. Here we go. It asks me for 10 minutes. It's a pretty heavy file. Okay. 10 to 15 minutes because it's five gigabytes. So what we're going to be doing now is just sit back, relax until this download right here is completed, right? So I've successfully downloaded both of the files. And in my case, I've just moved the files here to my desktop. So here we go. We've got the Windows 11 ISO image and we've got in here the VMware Fusion. So what we'll be doing next is double tap here on VMware Fusion to install VMware Fusion into our Mac device. Okay. So double click to install. And then it's going to take a few seconds to verify. Simply tap on open. Next up, type in your password that unlocks your user here on your MacBook. Tap on OK. After a couple seconds, your VMware should be installed. And do not worry if it says file not found. Do not worry. Simply tap on OK. So done. We're going to close this tab right here. We're going to open up once again VMware Fusion by tapping here on VMware Fusion. If it's not here, simply open up the launch pad and tap on VMware Fusion. OK, so it says file not found. Do not worry because we need to actually install a new operating system. So what we'll be doing is tap on OK, tap on OK and tap here on file. OK, make sure the VMware Fusion software is opened and then tap on new. OK. So once you tap on new, you're going to be here on this window right here, which says install disk from image. OK, so what we'll be doing in here is pretty much selecting the ISO image that you've downloaded the Windows 11 and then drag it all the way to the window and then let it go. Right. Next up, we're going to be having here the option which says create a new virtual machine, tap on continue and then We've got continue once again. It's going to ask me for a password for verification purposes. So I'm just going to type a quick password right here and then tap on continue, tap on continue once again, and then tap on save, right? So now we've got the virtual machine in here. It's starting tap on OK. And the installation process is actually starting here on the virtual machine, right? All we need to do is just to wait for a couple of seconds until it starts asking us for the settings. OK, let's just wait. Now, if you feel that your mouse suddenly disappeared, you just need to follow the steps in here to release your mouse. Press Control Command. OK, so you can do this Control Command and your mouse will be released in here. OK, so press any key to boot from CD or DVD. OK, let me tap on enter or space. So let me tap on any key. Here we go. And it's now installing Windows 11 into my MacBook device, right? Here we go. Now we've got the settings. Let's go with English. Tap on next. Uh, US keyboard is okay with me. I would like to go with install Windows 11. I agree. Okay. And next. Let's simply tap here on I don't have a product key as of now. Do not worry about this. It's setting up the operating system for you. And then Windows 11 home. That's the one I'll be going with. So simply tap on next. Tap on accept and then in here, just tap on next. It's going to use 64 gigabytes of your internal storage as if it's a new disk for your Windows operating system. Tap on next and then simply tap on install, right? The installation will start right now. As you guys can see, 10% complete. All we need to do is just wait for a couple minutes. Here we go. Once the installation is complete or once it reaches 100%, it's going to immediately restart your virtual machine, right? So let's just wait for a couple seconds. Here we go. We've got another progress bar in here, which starts at 0%. Make sure you did not turn off your computer and just to wait until it installs. Because if you turn off or perform something strange on your laptop, this might crash the installation process and then you'll have to install all the way from scratch again. OK, so let's just wait a couple minutes while our computer does its own thing. 
here we go our computer is restarting once again the installation process is almost done we're now at 94 percent and here we go welcome to your windows operating system here installed in your virtual machine within your macbook device so now we're going to be setting up our windows operating system simply select your region tap on yes select your preferred keyboard layout i'm going with the us and then i'm going with skip as of now now the computer is restarting once again the installation is almost complete and then here we go now let's quickly set up our name here the name of our device i'll be going with Shack, okay, next. It asks us for a few more seconds. So the installation is now complete, but uh, Windows is just installing a quick update in here. So let's just wait and relax while it updates to the latest version. And you can also actually maximize here the screen so you have a much better experience. So right now, Windows is just updating its software as it found a latest version here to be installed. Let's just wait and relax while Windows does its thing for a couple more minutes. Once this is done, we're gonna need to sign in here with our Microsoft account. If you do not have one, you can easily create one right now by tapping here on create one, okay? You've got in here another signing in option, such as for example, face, fingerprint, or pin if you don't want to use a Microsoft account. In my case, I'll be going with Microsoft account. So let me quickly sign in with my Microsoft account. Now let me enter my password. Once you're done with the login process, you can also create a pin to actually unlock your user here. Uh, in my case, I'll be going with 0000 as of now, 0000, this is okay. So once you're done typing, tap on okay. Next up, tap on next, next, and accept the terms and conditions. Tap on continue. Now we can customize our experience. I'll be going with skip as of now. Let me tap on skip, skip again, not now. So here we go. We now have our Windows operating system fully installed here on our computer. But before terminating this tutorial, I'd like to show you two important settings in here, which are very crucial in order to have a good performance on your MacBook device, because this is actually a Windows operating system, which is not made to be running on a MacBook device. So there are a few extra tweaks that need to be done for the system to be running smooth, right? So you can also maximize the full screen in here. And as you guys can see, the resolution is still not perfect. We've got in here two black margins, right? So in order to get rid of these two black margins here, we're gonna um, tap on the right click, tap here on display settings, and then we're gonna hop into display resolution and then we're going to select the appropriate resolution here according to your macbook device so in my case i'll be going with 19201200 and then i'll tap here on keep changes as you guys can see i've now got the best resolution here for my windows computer right remember vmware is actually on full screen so all i need to do in order to get back to my macbook software is just swipe three fingers to the left right I've swiped to the left, I've got in here my MacBook operating system and I can swipe right to open up VMware, right? So here we go, I'm back to VMware. Now, the second thing that I would recommend you guys to do is let me just quickly exit my full screen in here is to actually install vmware tools this is very important because this is going to install a few modules which are important in order for the software to run fast okay so in order to do this you just need to tap here on vmware fusion hop all the way to vm to virtual machine hop all the way to virtual machine scroll down and tap on install vmware tools okay so tap on install install and then wait for a couple seconds let me just maximize my full screen so it's well visible next up we just need to hop into files in here and then tap here on this pc and double click here on this virtual disk that has been loaded into our computer right 
tap on yes and then the installation process will start as you guys can see preparing vmware tools for installation next up the installation wizard will be here simply tap on next typical next install and vmware tools will quickly be installed into your computer so once the vmware tools installation is complete which will take you just a couple seconds probably 15 to 20 seconds we'll immediately restart our computer and we are good to go and as soon as you do this you're gonna notice that your laptop will start performing even faster your windows operating system will perform even faster congratulations you have just installed your new windows operating system into your macbook and you can now install any windows software and run it smoothly here with the vm tools installed as well now if you just want to close your virtual machine it's simple simply um, minimize it from here you can minimize it if you want to keep it launched or you can simply turn off your machine by shutting it down and wherever you want to load it simply open up the vmware fusion okay or head to the launch pad and tap here on vmware fusion and your machine will start immediately the best way and the best convenient way to have your machine opened is on full screen and then simply swipe left to go back to the macbook operating system and right to hop into the windows operating system thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my video useful consider subscribing leave a comment down below and like the video if you find any difficulty throughout the process leave a comment down below and i'll do my best to respond to you as soon as possible thanks for watching fixed by Shack, and i'll see you in the next one have a great day